Hey guys, Arik here from Vicom Media, and this is the second part in my tutorial on how to create uh, Dreamweaver templates from Photoshop layouts. So let's uh, continue from where we were in the last tutorial. So here it is. Here is what the site looks like. So now we're going to put in the forms. So I'm going to just align the text how I like it. Top and center. Now we're going to start with the login form. So just go back to Photoshop. Now all you have to go here to the insert um, box, I don't know what you would call it, and uh, you have to choose forms, for insert a form, now insert a text field, we'll call the ID username, and don't put a label, I'll show you why in a second, now we'll set the initial variable, uh, v sorry, value to their name dot 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 so what that does is it puts that text in there which looks it looks pretty good so now because this is jumping like this don't don't worry it's just sort of formatting stuff it won't be like that when you upload it to the web so just don't bother with it and now uh, password I believe yes password so go back to Dreamer, pass lowercase for your IDs. Now the initial value will be password dot dot dot. Okay. Now you can also make the type of the input a password, so it shows like this. You may, you may want to do that, um, but unfortunately then it will show the initial value as the dots. I, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to put in some links, forgotten password and register. When you click outside of the box, it sort of resets it to the format. It sort of reformats it, basically. Okay, and now I'll put in a submit button. button, make the ID submit, I'm just going to leave it short, but if you want to you can just put spaces, I'll just do that. There we go. And so that form is done. Now I'll create the second one. So again, you have to insert a form field. First is the name input field. So name, and then name colon is the label. Attach the label tag using the for attribute. You want that. And the next.
next one is email address, email, so ID, and email. I'm going to make this text a bit smaller. But I'm going to make it bold as well. There we go. Submit button. I'm just going to leave it as normal. So there we have it. Now you have I'll leave you to script these um, and obviously link the buttons and such. Uh, to link the text you just go to the HTML on properties and put in the link and it'll underline it or whatever and also the buttons so that is basically it and uh, I'm just well not yet um, I'm going to select everything by just dragging from this side and dragging out uh, because it was automatically put into one table now I'm going to go here, insert and then layout, and insert a div tag. I'll see why in a second. I'll make the ID wrapper. And now I'm going to go here to CSS styles and create a new rule for wrapper. Okay. And I'm going to go to. I made the uh, vertical align to the top and the text align to the center. It just basically means um, the contents of the div tag will be centered, which is what we want. So now it's nice and centered. So I'm going to preview it quick. So I'll pause the recording and re zoom when that's done. Okay guys, so this is what the final site looks like and it looks pretty pretty good, pretty good. Um, so the form works. Um, I don't know why it's not centered though. Maybe, maybe I made a mistake somewhere, but it's not too much of a big deal. Um, so yeah, you can just type in stuff here. But remember that we you have to um, make the processing script for this one is pretty easy um, login more difficult I have a tutorial on how to make a script if you just uh, want the email sorry the info to be in email to you um, I'm gonna be making a, a tutorial on how to make a login uh, for processing script later on but um, so check that out uh, remember you have to link everything obviously you would be making a different site <coughs> this one was more uh, difficult to format usually you just have stuff like this and then everything is laid out uh, horizontally not one thing here and then one thing here but oh, it's always something new so thanks for watching this tutorial and see you guys later